wrap. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you for watching my video and today I mean what I see the most beautiful city in the world, Cape Town, South Africa. Now, this city offers so much. I'm going to be here for four days before I continue to Mosul Bay. Cape Town is full of batik hotels. Part of them are by the shoreline and some are located near the Victoria and Alfred waterfront area. We chose the 1-8 hotel close to the waterfront area. We spent a total of four days in Cape Town. Which included a winery tasting, botanic garden tour, a tour of the local authentic township, shark cage diving, and diving with seals. This video is all about our first day. We took the city sighting bus, started our day with the Table Mountain, continued to Campus Bay, and finished the day in the food market near the Waterfall Mall. Table Mountain is the most iconic landmark of South Africa. Cape Town is built at the foot of the Table Mountain. Most of the days, there is a mist on top of the mountain. It's the first thing you will see when you arrive to Cape Town. Respecting time, but not picking any flowers, chopping at any rocks and stones, no wasting any water. Cable Mountain, guys. Now we charge you 390 rands to get here. Uh, with the Cable Railroad, it takes something like 10, 12 minutes to get here. And the place, the view is amazing. You have 360 degree view of Cape Town. And like you can see, we have a great day today. Summer here, we have a great visibility. You can see almost everywhere. Now this place offer you to do hiking. Now I heard it take three hours to climb over here. I didn't do that, but I actually two years ago done the hiking down from the top of the mountain to the bottom one. Now it was an amazing experience, it took me almost four hours, but just make sure when you do that, have a decent clothes with um, hiking shoes because I was with jeans and some sports shoes and it was very, very difficult, and especially if you do it in the summer get supplies, <laughs> especially water, but except that part, that was a great day, and uh, like I said, it took me four hours, but <laughs> this is the view, this is the Table Mountain, I got you almost the best angles I can get you, 360 of the top of uh, Cape Town, now let's continue. This is the ocean, honey. It's freezing. The water is freezing. Why are there no waves? I don't understand. Waves can manage really good in this cold water. But now I know why there are no white sharks. <laughs> sharks need warm water. Comes Bay Beach. Beautiful spot, freezing water, but the view, and obviously you can see behind so many great restaurants, great, great place to spend a couple of hours when you're in Cape Town.
Mateo Taumbe from Tanzania. Yeah, I'm the artist making some artwork. You painted this? Yeah, I painted this for myself. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. See, they're different. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. How much do you sell one of them? Uh, like this size is 650, other one for 150. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. Oh my God. Wow. That's beautiful, man. Mateo, that's beautiful work. The Victorian Alfred Food Market is a must for every traveler looking for a bite to eat and relaxing stop while making their round to the waterfront. The market is located in the old power station. Asian street food, Korean fried chicken, the ugly dumpling, this is a small taste of what this market has to offer. Just talk about the wild animals of South Africa. Now you see the big tires over there behind me. All of this tire, you can see a lot of seals where they swim. They s over there, they just climb over there and rest. So if you basically if you take a boat and there is a lot of tools boat behind me over there, you can find yourself so close to a seal. 
Ah, look at you. Somebody's happy. The popcorn. The popcorn. Salted caramel popcorn. And the view of the bay. Hey! Wow, give me one. <laughs> stuck on the top of the wheel. <laughs> oh no, 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 there is a couple more feet higher. 